Hi, this is Rob. We're at Invocom 2024. We're introducing a brand new product called the Voice Tracks 100. What it does is take positional data from microphones like you see here, the gooseneck microphones, and it'll switch based on who's talking in the room. We have a KMU 100 Plus, which is a 4K uh, camera processor, region of interest processor. So it takes one 4K camera, and cuts it up into regions of interest. So all I simply have to do is when I push to talk to the microphone, it'll actually switch to me. Or if I move over to this position, push to talk, it'll pick up me. And if I have both of them pressed at the same time, it'll actually go to the wide shot. Let's take a look at the interface of the Voice Tracks 100, which is taking all the positional data from the, uh, the Shure microphone. All right, so I'm gonna turn tracking off. And now the KMU 100 has, this is my ROI processor. This is region of interest three. I can select three, and then I can go here and do a fine tune adjustment of that region of interest right here using the virtual joystick control. So that's simply how you set up your region of interest shots. Again, it takes all the positional data from the microphone or from where you're speaking and goes into the transceiver right here. And then the Voice Tracks 100 takes that information and then switches to that video source. So this is the interface for the Voice Tracks 100. And what this allows me to do for my global settings for my microphone is set a milliseconds trigger. So if someone speaks, it waits 50 milliseconds before it starts to trigger. If no one's speaking, that's the uh, home period for 10 seconds, then we can make some logic to switch to the wide shot. Also, we can do far end detection. So if my audience from the far end is presenting to us and if they're speaking for at least five seconds, then we can send a message to our switcher in our room to switch to the wide shot so that the far end can see the whole entire audience there. So for more information, be sure to visit our website at datavideo.com. Thanks for watching.